I think you could recognize instantly as we zoom in right away that these are normal skeletal muscle fibers. You can see some striations here. You could see lesser well-defined striations here. And from my point of view, I could see them in many other places. The nuclei are all at the periphery and they are arranged nice and log-like. So this is skeletal muscle. But why did we zoom in so fast? Let's actually zoom out a couple notches right away because one of the most common mistakes people make in pathology, especially neophytes, is that they go and they just zoom right away <clears throat> and they lose the forest for the trees. Notice when you look at the skeletal muscle on a uh, further perspective, you could see there are little areas like here, 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 that are kind of disrupting the overall normal beauty of the arrangement of the striated muscle fibers. Uh, also notice that whatever these things are, they don't have much of an inflammatory reaction around them. They have, it's almost like they were just put there and there's no inflammation. Yes, there are scattered inflammatory cells every now and then, but many, if not most of these little structures look like they are just there all by themselves, all of a sudden. This is, once again, the larval structures of trichinosis. This is trichinella spiralis uh, cysts, or larval cysts. It doesn't look like human tissue. It doesn't look like any normal thing ever seen in the human body. It looks to be a little darker or more calcified on the inside. There's a little bit of a granularity to it. If you can remember in the last case of trichinosis, they may have been older cysts because they were more hyalinized and had less detail on the inside. But if you wanted to have a good time, you could just go all over this place and find a whole bunch of them because there are a whole bunch of them. And uh, like in the other case, some are bigger than normal. Here's one that's a little bit bigger than usual. And uh, you can see once again, this is not human tissue at all. These are the larval cysts of uh, trichinella. Implanted very nicely and smoothly and subtly without any or much inflammatory reaction into a histologically normal striated voluntary skeletal muscle. And I thank you very much.